It's okay. MPT, Monster Pitch Theatre. Uh, Debbie, what was your one for today? Mangled Penis Tournament. It's, welcome to Mangled Penis Tournament. Uh, a two-hour stream where we build you a one-shot adventure for you to enjoy. The story type that we're talking about today, I asked our guest to bring one uh, with him. Uh, and he told us a little bit ahead of time what it's going to be, so we're really excited. Dave, uh, Dave's friend, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> the true context is out Yeah. Do you want to uh, talk to us about what uh, you what story we're going to be telling today? Yeah, so I think it's interesting that you say it's not a genre because I guess I I kind of think it is, but maybe it is my story. I think it might it. be, and it's a good micro genre, maybe. Yeah, mm. that's a good way yeah. to think about it. Uh, I'm really interested in discussing a prison break type story. Great. Uh, mm. I like <gasps> it as a as a thing that pops up. It is interesting because sometimes it's like a tiny bit of like a larger story. Yep. Or sometimes it's the whole big story. Mm -hmm. yep. Sometimes it's a season of a TV show called Prison Break. Sometimes. And then, mm -hmm. and then they have to make multiple seasons. I was curious about that because mm. what did they do? They broke out into a bigger prison, which was unfortunate. Yeah. Was that the, the second prison. season? Is that the second season of yeah, the Prison the, Break? the prison was oh. in jail because it did a bunch of like prison crimes, so then they had to figure out. They just did it in a tight shot and then they zoomed out a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, it, as you say, it, it's sort of like, it, it's it's one of those stories that is very old. It's like in the Count of Monte Cristo, obviously. It's a, I think that's the oldest. But you know what the oldest is? What? Easter Sunday. Oh! Ah! Ah! Right. Yes. A way. Okay. Um, so I wanted to ask you, Matt, um, when you... Sorry, just quickly, no, 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 then no, we'll no. chat with you. No, you uh, take it on. Just quickly, uh, Matt, when you uh, are watching something or reading something mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're like, oh my goodness, this is a prison break story, you might sure. not have known that going in. Yeah. What? The, the TV show I did. You did, but that's only because you, you have insider sort of industry uh, <laughs> knowledge. Yeah. Um, what is the? What are the elements in that that you, you kind of hope for, that you look forward to, that you'll be kind of disappointed if they don't show up? Okay. I like a prison break to have a team of misfits, mm -hmm. oh. um, because that means that you've got like different skill sets. Yep. Mm -hmm. I also think that a prison gives you a chance to have like a team up, which is very awkward and not necessarily going to work together. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because you're like forced to be adversaries in that kind of like. Yeah, and it's great because like they have an overriding goal that kind of overrides everything else. Yeah, you've got to put up with this person and what they're doing because yeah. of you need to get to the same place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like I mentioned the skill sets but I want to just re-emphasize that it's like a really great thing where different people bring their different skills yes. mm -hmm. and maybe this is like the highest stakes place for them to try out those skills mm. yes mm -hmm. I really like that guys your thoughts on the, the, the story type well look let me just to, just to address Matt's things I think that you know a D&D prison break is just perfect for that You've got your party, mm -hmm. um, um, and maybe a, a, a way to lean in terms of like you, you, you're already dealing with the, the misfits of yep. the party together, but maybe a direction that 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 to get the kind of people not fitting together. Yep. Maybe you uh, later on. I, I don't know if this is jumping ahead. I may have screwing this up. No, I do want to talk just initially at the yeah. top of the show about the D and D elements, and which we'll come back to in the second hour. Yeah, but. Um, I think something that could maybe work is like, oh, if there's a rival gang, you know, prison gangs in prisons. Yeah. That, that might be where the having to team up with someone you would, an, un, an unlikely alliance, yep. that could maybe play out in that way. Because um, there's a whole, like, that's another thing about my favourite prison stuff. There's an unlikely ecosystem that sort of gets disrupted by it because it's so contained and it's... Yeah, yeah. and there's people who are like, have very specifically said, I'm not of this or I'm not working in this kind of format yeah. and then it's like well what are your options here yeah and sometimes it's like maybe there's like a highfalutin person who gets who has to work with someone who they may think that there's some kind of like class mm -hmm. hierarchy thing mm -hmm. yeah but it's like hey we are all equal in this space yes and we all have to work together yeah, yeah that's that's really because we've all done and we've done in Dragon Friends a million times the thing where you're locked in a cell and you seduce the guard or whatever, you get the keys, and that's the prison break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think this, the, the variety that, <laughs> right, that, that Matt's described of this whole <laughs> ecosystem that a party could be put into, maybe. Well, see, this is, is something that I want to talk to you about in the second half because mm. I think a really good prison story takes time within the story. It might mm. not take time with your group, like you can play it in a session, mm. but I think 
you know, as you say, whenever we were in prison in Dragon Friends, it's literally just like in real time. So we yeah, have yeah. to be like, come here, we'll drown you in a bowl of soup. Um, mm, yeah. Give us your thing, we're getting out. Yeah. I'd love to be able to talk about like, I'd love to be able to design something that has some sort of mechanism in it that this is actually played over a couple of weeks yeah. in, in, in game time. Agreed. Um, and I would love to know your thoughts on how to do that. Well, but... my, my, for, for, for like a genre reference, the only prison film I think I've ever seen is Alcatraz. Escape yeah. from Alcatraz? Maybe it's no, 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 just Alcatraz. Yeah, they just, okay, they just stay there. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's uh, but that's for me. Like Alcatraz is. A you haven't big... seen Shawshank? Oh, maybe. But have you seen The Great Escape? Okay, yeah, I've seen a lot. Of... Right, <laughs> so seen I know a lot about this show. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Alcatraz. So there's a thing of like I think in terms of designing this, we want there to be lots of different options and problems because again, you never know what your players are gonna do. Absolutely, yeah. and that's something that I think we'll actually be talking about in the story part. That's really going to form our gameplay part because one of the first things we're gonna do is design a prison, right. and uh, uh, just I... yes. What? Oh, it's a bottle oh, set. Oh my god! Yeah. I was just going to say sexy. that a a cool thing about the um <laughs> the, the nature of it being a prison escape means that the characters will potentially be like inherently super different because they all have really drastic reasons for needing to escape prison. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. and drastic reasons for why they got into prison. Exactly. Yeah. Oh so yeah. So there's like, oh, this this person, it, you know, the Andy Dufresne character that's just like is innocent and yeah, yeah, like yeah. needs to get out because of that, or like you know. One that just can't be there anymore because they're getting the dick beaten off of them every other day. <laughs> I, think I forgot that that was the character's name from Shawshank and thought you just jumbled up saying Annie DeFranco. <laughs> You know how Annie DeFranco's in Shawshank? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, I completely agree with that, and I think that that'll be really good when we come to design our NPCs yep. in the story. Uh, one of the one of the things that we've found interesting about telling these, like setting up these stories, is that we actually can't do anything about the backstory of the heroes, obviously, because mm -hmm. those those are going to be imported from another game. Mm -hmm. So all that fun character stuff that we've been talking about, that's where we let our NPC shine. And that's where, we, you know, like when we were yeah. doing the the, uh, the boat one, uh, we made a crew on that boat that, mm. that had all the archetypes that our heroes could just kind of plonk into and, yeah. and play around with. 100%. 100%. I think there's like, um, yeah, but there's little options that you can give to people. It's like, if you can't think of a character, what if your guy's really little? <laughs> uh, Crunk, <laughs> if you just ask, should I draw someone getting their dick beaten off? Yes. Um, yeah, go for it. Please. I mean, if you like, Crunk, are you... Uh, Don't uh, tell me. I show shouldn't. Me. Oh, I shouldn't. shouldn't. Draw someone yeah, you getting really getting read that off. as a question. <laughs> yeah, I, I also read it as a question. Uh, <laughs> well, good. Um, you're, Shouldn't I? You're, uh, you're, Shouldn't I draw some? You're saving these, right? You're not just deleting them like on Hey Hey it's Saturday, right? You're, well, you're, they'll be these on the stream. In, these are going on a... Yeah, but... Well, those all the ones from Hey It's Saturday in the Library of Congress. That's yeah. true. That, that's just quite more. Um, <laughs> so, Saving, baby. let's get started. Um, the one thing we, I want to talk about before we design our prison um, yes. is where are we setting this? So we've spoken about, like, our genre is... Our, maybe our subgenre is prison break. Prison break. Mm -hmm. Do we not prison bake? That's the everything. Every two months they have a prison bake sale, and it's really yes. nice. But also, yes. you got to get that file into the prison somewhere. Exactly. That's true. That's a little. Yeah. That's one of the ropes. <laughs> so yeah, the file just, cake is very popular at the prison bake. Just yeah. like being on the Great British Bake Off Prison Edition, and you're like ten <laughs> files, <laughs> ordering the ingredients. But like we, because we on MPT, we kind of try and keep things in a way that you can adapt them to your mm -hmm. campaign, it, whether you're doing, uh, you know, wh whatever module you're playing in or whatever genre of game you're playing, whether you're playing something in space or whether you're playing something mm -hmm. set in present day or whether you're playing kind of classic D&D high fantasy, we want these to be adapted. But for the purposes of this chat, let's pick something that we can work with and then um, these guys can just sort of season to taste. Can so, I say the easiest one? Yep. Mm -hmm. just, it, it's just on a, on a floating island in the middle, of the middle of the sea and also the island can be a boat so they can move the island. That's it's, true. Because it's Alcatraz, but it's also that fucking weird movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, what's-his-face. You didn't see that? It was really weird. Hmm. Twins? No, the one with the, you know. <laughs> <gasps> Love twins. Okay, maybe... Sorry, Demi. Mm. You were going on. I think maybe a good question to start is with technology level. Oh, yeah. Like, in terms of are the locks physical locks? And, and iron bars, or is it like uh, magical glyphs and things like that? Mm. Because you can scale them up. 
Or, yeah, yeah, or okay. I'll try it. Yeah, when you're adapting something, you can just be like, glyphs are circuits. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. magic. Magic means high tech, not magic means low tech. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Arthur C. Clarke who said, uh, there's a guy in this story who's getting his dick beaten off. Yes. And I think that's <laughs> really true of a lot of so? fantasy and sci-fi. Well, I think if that's the case... And then it was Asimov who said, what if it's a robot? <laughs> <laughs> um, so... By the way, Matt, last time I brought a textbook and I was kind of ridiculed for that, so I didn't bring a textbook this time. Who, would do, who yelled at you for that? You did, Demi. Demi? You yelled at me. Demi yelled? Demi yelled. Demi hasn't done that. I don't think that sounds like um, you. Very quiet. So I kind of want to, I like the idea that, like, let's let's work backwards from what you just said. Like, I think what makes Alcatraz a story that, like, countless things have been set on, mm. not only Escape from mm. Alcatraz, but The Rock. Um, Hamlet. He's great. They're both great. <laughs> um, Hamlet and Alcatraz, the yeah. classic. Hamlet uh, and The Rock, they were those, the best I think friends. there's only two movies I can think of that have been set on Alcatraz, but probably... There's a bunch of other, I'm sure yeah, there but are. But it is, like, that um, thing of, like... Shutter Island, maybe. Well, I no, think it's called Shutter yeah. Island. Yeah, no, but... But, <laughs> but it's the archetypical island prison, except yeah. for the ones that Napoleon well, because, was on. Because the point is, right, even if you get out... Even if you get out, you're fucked. And that's exactly. like what we like about that, right? Mm. So, well, like. It's your other options, like it's in the middle of the desert, which is like you're out, and then what do you do? That's yeah. right, because that's. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It could be like, oh, it could be like an ice prison, it mm. could be a desert prison. The, the point is, there's a threat outside the prison yeah. that, that the getting out of the walls isn't the. Yeah. Isn't yeah. the like a thick loam. <laughs> a yeah, thick, yeah. loamy yeah. sort of. Yeah, and, and you shift the leaves, and there's little bugs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or like annoying crunk, spider webs, not crunk. even like ones that you get stuck in, just like you're like, fuck's sake. Like you a know, day later. Constantly, yeah. constantly. Um, I read a story about a man who got lost in the desert because he was on a run and he I was. Like, I wrote that. He fucking as well. He drank a bunch of bats because he found a cave and he was like, "There's bats in here, so I'm going to drink them." And you told me about survived. that and you sent me the article and I refused oh. to read it because it seemed upset him. Sorry, he oh, survived. Marathon seems. Dave, he was in Dave does have a desert. good idea of a ham prison. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah ham prison. See, this is why we kicked him off the street. Yeah. No, but Dave probably couldn't get Only... out of a ham prison. <laughs> right? Because he's well, kosher. Dave, Dave couldn't get him out of a wet paper bag, let's be honest, oh. guys. Am I right? You're getting right. trashed out here, Dave. <laughs> is a wet paper bag a good prison? Oh, let's think oh. about that. Uh, prison, uh, so uh, Book of Matches says, Prison in the plain of air. Escape, then plummet into slow sound. Oh, blimp prison. No, I think they, they mean like there is, it is like a bottomless kind of pit, right? Yeah, that was the scariest uh, episode of Spongebob. The, oh, really? They fall? No, the, the elemental plane of air is just like islands in the air and the clouds and that shit. So oh, it could okay. be a floating, floating sky prison. Is I like a floating sky prison. Yeah. yeah okay. It doesn't want to sing with me. Yeah. Oh, what were we singing? Nothing. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> they never find your Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Okay. One day. A floating... A flying... Is it tough? But you, what if you can fly? You're fucking fine. Yeah, I don't think floating is very scary to me, but we don't have to make it scary. It's fine. What about underwater prison? Ooh. Underwater's good. Even underwater's if you good. can swim, which... I don't want to show off, but I can. Oh, all right. Um, I didn't realize this. Sorry, I didn't realize this was a forum for outrageous mm, boasts. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, We've got a water uh, scientist uh, over here, okay? <laughs> Do you call Underwater. all sports people a blank scientist? Yeah, basically. <laughs> a bicycle scientist? Yeah, we've got Crunk. a bicycle scientist, we've got a tennis ball scientist over here. Wow. Crunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good take on the hole in the popcorn box. Has Crunk ever drawn porno before? I Crunk, don't think can you Crunk, tell us? No, I mean, like, for, like, her, her, the art that... I, I don't think Crunk has ever drawn, and now it's just wall-to-wall -wall porno. Wall-to-wall -wall pornos. Mm -hmm. And we got another little... <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, creepy guy. Um, Deep up. Ocean... Deep Ocean with all the weird shit, says Mo Quirk. I am coming around to Deep Ocean prison. Deep Ocean is basically space, but much more, like, well, I guess neither of them really has much air, but, you know, it's... I think Deep Ocean is much more scary. Devil's oh, Avocado. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Water breathing is a spell that's available to a lot of people, but I guess it's like a level thing. This is a D and D nerdery thing. That's true, mm -hmm. but let's thank God we invented the whatever machine that. Yeah. Because there's spell jammers and stuff that yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. All right, but it's like we're talking about like Mariana Trench. Yeah. Deep. Yeah. The deep. Yeah. All right, let's do a water prison now. Okay. In terms prison. of prison design, yeah. let's talk about the most famous design of all, the Panopticon. Mm. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> did they ever because you're a clever man did they ever actually build one or was it a completely hypothetical thing I've never heard of this before I think really when you say they do you mean has anyone yeah no idea prison the prison dudes I think they built small ones 
but okay. like the the prototypical drawing of with the big towel. Yeah. And the, so the, the yeah. panopticon is like cells in a in a donut shape mm. with yep. like one dude in the middle on a tower with a little revolving chair. Well, you can actually probably just look. He doesn't need to swivel. Mm. Yeah. And the point is, you can't see him, but you never know where he's looking. Santa. What? Like Santa? N um. <laughs> Not I like. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the point is that you start to self-censor because you never know when the when Santa's looking at you. Yeah. He can only look at one person at a time, but you don't know if that person's you. But in that way, he's looking at all of us all at once. He can only look at one person at a time? Well, I mean, he's got a field of vision. Okay. But you know what I mean? And it's one person wide? Um, uh, <laughs> Mo Berg, who is, of course knows this, is there was one in London. There was one. Where do they say that? I can't see it. Okay, well, there was Okay, on well, there was, was on in London. Okay, well, that's illegible, isn't it? What does that even mean? That what does that even mean, sense, Mo? Mo? This is good. This is gobbledygook. Can you actually wrecked hit it. the showers, Mo? Yeah. You're all over the shop out there. No, um, really. oh, first, yes, like Santa. Thank you, first time chat. <laughs> Siberian pain. Siberian um, pine. Siberian pine. Um, yeah, Mo, I said that. The idea is that they don't know when they're looking at you. Are you even... What are you... Mo. Well, can, can I? Oh, devil avocado. Oh yeah, devil that's avocado. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. No, let's not do. I, I want an interesting. I want an interesting layout for an underwater prison because I think so much of this story is going to be about this building. As with a lot of prisons, like here is my question: What about this building makes it interesting? Mm -hmm. What about it makes it very difficult to escape? And what about it makes it like more easy to escape? Mm. Like Alcatraz, for example, I think didn't have like as crazy security because there were like the oceans there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you're like, not gonna like the idea that I thought of. I am gonna love it, I bet. All right, well you're not. So every prisoner is in a papoose on the front of a guard that is just Sorry, any Sorry, what random... is a papoose? Okay, so it's like you would know one because you have a child, but they're like on the front of you. <laughs> like the baby person... Bjorn? Yeah, it's so. A... <laughs> Yeah. But, but it's, where you, it's where you wrap them up. They're gonna, you yeah, wrap them up yeah, tight. Yeah, but they would, be, they would be kind of on the front, and then that means that any hierarchy you have in the prison is based on the guard you're assigned and how well you can bribe them. All right, I think we've got it. Because if, that's the, that's if your guard is big, but you're a little piece of shit, you're going to be like, I don't care, my guy's big. That is in some ways the, like, the like anti-panopticon. Okay. I love that. <laughs> well, I don't think we should do it, but it is the first thing I thought of. I as soon as you it. said, what kind of prison, I was like, guys on guys! <laughs> Guys on guys. Let's talk about the first prison. Is that the only prison film you've seen? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It wasn't it? I, all right, I might be revealing a lot about Did myself. You should get abbreviated to Poos Prison. Poos 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 I kind of like Poos Prison. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. So one guard per. Prisoner? Well, it could be one guard, or it could be just like one. It, I mean, it could either be that, or you're you're like teamed up with the way that they. Not that I was trying to grab this, and I was talking to you, so I was looking at you out of the corner of my eye. But it could also be you just have to be teamed up with another prisoner that's like the opposite to you or some shit. Like it's just the, the it's not your skills aren't really based on you. It's the motherfucker you're strapped to. Well, that's a classic. Gross. That's like. So there's a movie, the, Devi the Deviant Ones, mm. with Tony Curtis and Sidney Poitier, mm -hmm. which is like a real like great odd couple where they've got the you know the two chain, legs are chained together. Oh, oh yeah, legs are chained together, oh, and the, chain the movie is game. both how to like we're on the run together now yeah, and how do we bust right. this chain apart because we hate each other. Yeah, okay. well, hang on. well it could be that, but also I kind of my but initial in thing prison, was the guards. You've got a terrible buddy. Yeah, well yeah, I was thinking that. Um, but also the pupusas are important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pupusas are important. I'm going to, again, Devil's Avocado here. It's a lot of NPCs. It's a lot of NPCs, and you've got to split the party up. You want the you want something that a group of four or five people can do together. And if it's all... If, if it is... It, maybe it is a different way, but I do like pupus prison. Mm. Oh. But it well, is going to be a lot of individual okay. stuff going Okay, on. the person that you're strapped to is from an, Im an imagination machine that you get plugged into at the at day one of prison. And the imagination machine makes your essence. And so if you're like a big strong guy, but you're strapped to the back of a real piece of shit who loves his mum too much. I don't mind that. Like a, it spits out a golem of you. Yeah. <laughs> That, yeah. that becomes your jailer. Yeah, that's what I'm. That was literally oh, what yeah. I was. Oh. Yeah, you are strapped to the front of okay. this person that isn't that is the true you. <laughs> like, you are your own. From a prison. purely storytelling perspective, I really like that. Yeah, mm. it's interesting. But it is too much. I just just a first thought. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Something else. Big uh, cage. Big cage. With sharks. 
Well, okay, so we j j just to recap, we've decided underwater prison. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's let's step back for a second. How do you get there? Uh, through the ocean, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, what I was thinking about, maybe the thing that's weird about this is it's quite easy to get in. You just swim right in. Um, but of course, the regular fishers and that aren't going to do that because they'll die because it's like an oxygen bubble. In mm. there. Oh, so it's not like Mariana Trench, though. Well, but it's deep down. But you can't, Eden, you can't swim down the Mariana Trench. But I could float. if I was a merman. Mm, I, mean, I wonder whether mermen get the bends. Okay, here's a question. Who runs the prison? No, can we just get back to that? Because <laughs> I, mean, I, I do have that question. Yeah. Uh, who runs the prison and okay. who's there and what kind of prison okay. is it for? Mm -hmm. can, but, I, can I be a real nerd? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I saw this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're drawing a bum. It's going to be a picture of the spy skills. Oh, okay, everybody, get uh, hold on. Matt's drawing something. It looks kind of like a, f a, so, a spork. This is like an actual... Hold it so the camera can see. That's like an actual way that people in... It's a South American country, and I'm not going to remember which one. Uh -huh. Build like this mesh twine sort of fish fishing oh, device. Fish so it's a fish trap. So fish can swim in those things, but they can't swim out because of all the spiky things. Oh. So what if you're using like... Oh, it's like that jigsaw trap. It's a finger trap, yes. Mm. It's a finger trap for fish. Yeah. Can you make a giant finger trap for, for prisoners in the water? So then what like about that. the ones that go in by accident or do they not? It's just hard to go in by accident. You can't. Well, but like you can't, but just, just like you can't get out because you're like, oh, gravity. But that's an interesting thing of like if it being a fish trap, the kinds of things that are trapped in the fish trap are totally haphazard but they all want to get out but then it's again that's kind of an accidental imprisonment yeah, isn't it yeah yeah what if it's what if there's sea life in there which has just haphazardly been trapped mm. but i think the prison is dry it would be fun if the sea life can just leave though yeah okay <laughs> Just not listening um, to Ben. <laughs> like, no, okay. it's not true. I like the oxygen bubble thing with yeah. the idea that, like, at any point, like, a whale could accidentally swim into the and bubble. Like, and just go, <laughs> <laughs> but then, and then just, like, seep its and way back out the other way. <laughs> Can I just can I just go to the chat for a sec? Because there's two very good ideas back to back. One from, right. Gordian, one from Gordian Knott, uh, who says you could put it near an underwater volcano for energy for the prison and extra boiling heat to prevent escape. I like that. Oh, that's a nice, that's that's a nice little detail. God, what if the only way to escape is through the volcano? Like, through the again, lava. Love yeah. just ideas. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I also like Bex, Bex's um, thing about uh, the, the place should be barely holding together, like in the abyss or sphere. Two mm. great references. Oh. Um, Ooh, abyss is scary. Or one of the oh. Bioshocks. Um, oh. I think that's a really good mood thing too. Um, okay, so with a prison like that, that is very deep underwater, is barely being held together, it is in oxygen. Let's just say you no, no. It's important that we decide how you get in because that's how they're going to get out. Okay. Yeah. Or, or that's one of the ways they can get out. Yeah. Because you need multiple. Yeah. So the volcano is a good one. Okay. So let's say that when you are captured and sent to this prison, you are sent to an island initially, mm -hmm. where there is a series of tubes, maybe, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. like an elevator. Yep. Um, or, or magical equivalent. Or magical equivalent. Or magical that, equivalent. Uh, sends you in a base. Oh, no, you go in a bay base sphere? Or, mm. or like, a, like a diving bell. Yeah, yeah, like a, yeah, yeah I think yeah, that's yeah. what I was describing. Maybe it's a, that might be a the diving same bell. Thing. Um, it's when they didn't have, it actually works off air pressure. So, so you've got a, a literal bell and it goes down in the water. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, uh, it's like when you push a cup into the dishwashing. Yeah. Gotcha. Liquid. That was the original. I like. Uh, I like. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> um, somebody just said a a weighted thing that just drops to the bottom of the ocean. Cannon. Oh. I like that. A cannon. Yeah. Like you, you are put in. Like there's no. Uh, oh, it just you just. Our heroes are like put in the thing, and it's just taken on a oh, boat sorry. from an island, and it just sinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, like that's that. Great. Yeah. It's like being pushed out of out of a plane, but it's yeah. ocean style. Yeah, great. Yeah, cool. So that sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. It's good. It's direct. Yep. Love you that. Land on top of a whale. Um, nothing you can then do a that. thing comes out from the prison, like an umbilical cord, hooks onto the thing, and then you're walked into the prison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that's good because there's no way back up. No, like, yeah, yeah like oh. a, a crane could come and pull it back up, but it's flooded. No, I reckon the sea is littered. Yeah. They're, so, they're so serious yeah. about Good. this. His... The sea floor is littered with these things. That's what if, great. What if the prison, one of the ways that it, like, is self-sustainable, because they're not going to drop down all their supplies and stuff, what if it has some kind of, like, big underwater rake system, which is just raking in all the time? 
because then it's like collecting oh. stuff and pulling it back into the prison but it's also raking potential supplies and stuff like it's its yeah. own sort of like big rake deep sea diving yeah it combs the it combs the floor yeah. right yeah. which is also if you're trying to escape from it oh shit how do you get past the if rake if you're going to run across yeah. the sea floor uh, the rake's coming okay, okay great rake so things we've decided very very deep down high pressure mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they just drop these fucking capsules yep. bonk. Yeah. bonk the um, prison is run by a huge extended family because they can't get people down there. So people are born and it's like a generation ship. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Mm. they're born and they grow up and they have children and they all die in the prison. Well, that's Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but they're not like kings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the horrible prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, but no, go for, I didn't mean incest jail. No, <laughs> well, no, that's no. I was gonna say. How do they just? How is it a family? Are there they, are, are they? There are there are three families. Okay, yeah. but and one, but then you know after a couple of generations, they're gonna have bulldog people. You see. <laughs> well, maybe no, ma- there's a fiddler on the roof style like matchmaker who makes. Oh. 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 Okay, here's a, make here's, sure that they don't. Also, they can just drop cum down there. Oh, they, they could, could just they could drop cum in the get mixed. Right. Could, get mixed. Suppose. <laughs> could just drop cum. Um, okay, so to, so if, if if it's run by a family, either they're very rich and they love their job, or they are kind of prisoners themselves working off some ancient debt. And I think the, I think the interesting thing is yeah. how they how they outwardly present. Because mm-hmm. I think Matt's instinct is right in that they are like we live like kings. This is our realm. Yeah. We are one of the three families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But maybe there is a social engineering way out of here. Yeah. Because they're not actually happy there and they are prisoners themselves. Yes, yeah, maybe. Oh, good. I like every time you're adding a story element, you're also like another potential escape route. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, because I think, I think at, what we're describing here is like, you know, like what like the um, most secure door is? It's like one with no handle, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, it's the, the moment you're like, I have to get in and out of this place. Mm-hmm. It's, it, that's where vulnerabilities are, right? Mm-hmm. So like the most, the most secure lock, I was thinking about this the other day, it could be wrong. <laughs> this is the sort of thing that people are gonna get cross at me about. Uh-huh. But the most secure lock, the way to lock a door do is like- Do you mean like your wife is sitting there thinking of things like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like a huge bit of wood over a door on two braces, right? But the problem with that is that if I wanna get into the house, I can't use a key. Someone from the inside has to lift it up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the moment that you introduce like, oh, somebody needs to be able to access this, mm-hmm. that's an insecurity because there's uh, a key to get in. Yeah. So if the whole point of this prison is that we have this family and it's self-sustaining and they comb the bottom of the ocean for yeah, food yeah. and no one ever needs to leave. No one ever can. No one ever has. Yeah. <laughs> then That's a good slogan for a prison. And they don't, even draw, they, don't even, they don't even draw the things back up. Yeah. That it is literally a one-way fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Kind of yeah. like this valve you drew. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a one-way thing. That certainly seems hard to get out of. Okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so who goes in this prison? Mm, bad, our adventurers. But why? Who else? So it seems like a dumping ground, really. There's people beyond... It's your worst of your worst. There's no rehabilitation yeah. scheme here. And for some reason, maybe it's a culture that like prizes life above all and will never do the death penalty. Oh, do you know what I mean? Because otherwise, mean. like, because if you're just letting them die underwater, maybe it's yeah. made by a by a, like a culture that. Yeah. Well, it's either that or there's some uh, uh, like monetary reason to keep all the people inside. Oh, they're like stealing their snot yeah. to make into beads. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy just with that. that. Yeah. <laughs> lunch? <I think>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that lunch? <laughs> yeah. Or like there's a there's um a terrible prison work experiment going on down there. Either oh, yeah. Experimentation on no, prisoners because or making them do a thing. It's got to yeah. be knowledge. It can't be it can't be something that they're exporting because that's something leaving the prison. Well, that's, oh, maybe yeah, that is a little vulnerability, from. though, yeah. That's that's your um, Grand Budapest Hotel, where it's like, can we escape via the little cakes that get made? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've not seen that movie, but it sounds ridiculous. You'd I mean, like it. it. <laughs> You'd like it, you fancy lad. Yeah, sucked in. Oh, damn it. Sucked, sucked in. in. You'd, You'd love that it. movie. You'd love that. Ooh, God, have a nice time. Mo, Mo Quirk has a good idea to steal their DNA to clone. I mean, then it's never let me go. Yeah, it is never let me go. But that's the thing. Maybe it is some... Oh, is that it's already been done? That it's not some kind of grand genetic experiment where they just chuck things down there and see what comes out in a thousand years. I don't know why they're making clones in Never Let Me Go. I, I have seen it. I haven't read it. Do you know, yeah, I think the guy who made it never, like, literally never read it. 
He was like, I like the title and the premise and the a state of AS by it. Not AS by it. Um, PG Pity James. PG Wodehouse <laughs> was like, hey. PG Wodehouse. <laughs> um, they're harvesting their organs, Matt. They're harvesting Whoa. their organs. That's oh yeah, that's the whole point of it. But then they got to get the organs up somehow. No, um, no, there's that's the <laughs> plot of never let me go. Um, <laughs> they're making wigs. Oh, thank you, thank you for filling me. Then in. they're making wigs. Um, ben. Wigs. Sorry? They're making oh, wigs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wig, wig, wig. Because wig. hair naturally oh, floats. Hair so naturally they floats. <laughs> they just said that and they just put it out in the water and it goes. You know what? Yeah? I don't hate it. Because <laughs> hair, as I've said on Freedom Good Home probably about 400 times, pound for pound, mm-hmm. more valuable than gold. Wow. Uh-huh. Also, don't... if you keep them alive, mm-hmm. their hair keeps growing. Oh, exactly. No, also, if they're dead. Yeah, no. I reckon. I reckon the. I reckon the first thing that our adventuring party has happened is that they get their head shaved. But that's normal. That happens in a prison. Yeah. But then. But then they're given a lot of like prenatal supplements that are very good for your hair. Yeah. Mike Quirk yeah. says that uh, it's not true that hair is worth more than gold. Agree to disagree on that one. Yeah. So. Yeah. Depends. How good's hair? How Show me gold. the article in the Financial Review. Saffron. No. Thinking of the daughter from Fab. Thinking of the <laughs> spice that's crazy expensive that I once used heaps in a curry and Anya got mad at me. And yeah, the daughter. And the daughter. Right. Is that saffron? Fab, thank you. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why we get you. Mm. Um, okay, so I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far, but I think we need, as Matt says, one more, one more little wrinkle. I think I think they do need to be exporting something to the surface, but it can't be people. It was never designed like no one's ever meant to leave. That's what I like about yeah. it. Yeah. So normally you'd be like you'd be mining something. Like maybe you'd be digging up a resource. Mm. Maybe it's got to do with the volcano yeah. that's also close by. Mm. Maybe they're like feeding like... gods who uh, if they don't get fed. We've already had a god oh, being fed with that. a volcano. Okay, sorry, sorry, and sorry. Maybe it's like just come. <laughs> I knew it seemed familiar. <laughs> maybe, never mind. Actually, do you know what? Do you know what? Can you use it? Do you know what? <laughs> Why would we come up with a new idea? Do Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a... Oh, this is exactly what we did, but it was us. <laughs> what if it's a... What if it's a dormant godling mm-hmm. that needs to be fed yeah. and they're using the prisoners to one by one kind of throw them into the volcano? And, and when they the godling it. is bald. So when they shave their heads... <laughs> it gets to wear a wig. It gets to wear a wig. <laughs> no, we can go with a different thing. We not every god, it. not every volcano has a godling in it, all right? I did yeah, mine no, 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 and no. I'm standing by it. <laughs> well, maybe it's just some straight up uh, mechanical... Well, what are they exporting then, I guess? Jane Sophie Sexual says that maybe energy. the prisoners have to go out and pilot little drone ships for mining. I feel like that might be playing on easy mode. Yeah, they'll, then they'll go. <laughs> then they'll just go. <laughs> and you get back in. Now, <laughs> <laughs> this prison is based on the honesty system. So, you have to come back if I let you go out. Leave something behind that you really like. <laughs> <laughs> so mainly they export to Freedom Town. <laughs> what if they have to? What if they have to keep the volcano running? So mm-hmm. there's some aspect of being down there which they're doing, whether it's like shoveling shit into the volcano, not necessarily uh-huh. literal, uh-huh. but well, like, or or it's like you have to stoke the fire, or mm-hmm. that's kind of nice because also if they have to keep the volcano running, maybe it's like they have to keep the volcano running to keep the prison from like collapsing. So if they stop like putting stuff into the volcano, they're like, well, we don't have enough time to escape because we're going to die in the prison. Oh yeah. You it know? both powers the, the prison yeah. and supplies stuff to the top. Yeah. So if you ever did shut off the volcano thinking like, oh, that's an escape route, yeah. actually no, because there yeah. goes your oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah, that there's yeah. power in the prison and as you say, something else. Book of Matches just had a cool idea. Oh, it's gone because the, the chat's just popping off, but there's a dragon in there and they need to harvest the dragon eggs. Yep. Like a sea dragon? Yeah, yeah. sea That's dragon. That's cool because you can just put you can just put the dragon and egg, eggs up like a one of those like kind of old timey pneumatic tubes. Oh, <laughs> I reckon okay. I that reckon was good. That's good. I reckon We you... refer to them a lot around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Did so, you know that... I really like the tubes and I really like your jets your jets and noise. That was good too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that there was like pneumatic tubes were in some ways like the mini disc of technology if tube technology in that there was like a moment of maybe like three or four years where they were like oh it's tubes now it's gonna be tubes and as a result of this demi underneath paris 
is this insane network of pneumatic oh, tubes. Of mini mini tubes. tubes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With all you, the Moby you can listen to. Did you know in the same vein that there is a road in China made <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of, made of melted down couples of uh, Robbie Williams' Rude Box? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. What? Nobody liked that song, Ben. <laughs> We're telling the same story, you and I. <laughs> It's a very bad song. I cannot just say, whenever Ben says, did you know, I think, here comes a lie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is actually true. Look it up. It's it's amazing. And all the main buildings, if you work in like a in a building that was around in like the 70s or 80s, I think, mm. in Paris. What makes them suck? What? What makes the tubes suck? Gerard Depardieu. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's underneath the... Uh-huh. <laughs> <Sucking. laughs> and he's just timing it just right. He knows that one out of 20 sucks that he does results in wine. <laughs> <laughs> but he's on a variable reinforcement which is, schedule. Which but is like why. 19 out of 20, he's like... <laughs> and then he has yeah. to blow. Which is why it's a message it... that he has to shoot to <laughs> someone. It's just like it's from a department store. Yeah. You, you know that expression, the roughly translated expression, like 20 for the office, one for Gerard? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. do. I remember that. Is that based on him? Yeah, and so that's why whenever you get an email from somebody French, they attach yeah. a picture of wine ah. in kind of a nod to, yes, like, that that's one's very for clever. Gerard if I do. Very clever. Yeah. <laughs> we must nod towards <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> um, can I just take a moment to really appreciate what Crunk's doing here? Because it's very, very beautiful. Cool. Crunk, can we get a bit of a long view of this, or is it not? Zoom is out. It, Zoom you, out. Are you not? Oh, Crunk, oh, this is some, this is some good like shit. This. this is my favourite type of art. Look at this stippling. Yeah, the yeah. stippling is really nice. What's, what's stippling? The little dots. The dots. Oh, it's real nice. Oh, real Syrah vibes. Oh, I'll yeah. suck you. <laughs> oh, no, come on. Come on. You need to make it. You need to make it porno yeah. again. Crunk, I hope you put that on a different I'll layer. I'll suck you up to <laughs> death. Okay, that's different. That's right, different. Sex, sexual porno. It's sexual death is what um, it is. <laughs> a sex a so okay, let's uh, let's talk about the parts of this prison. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Top. Top part. Well, there's the there's the there's the bit that has the umbilical that goes out to the the the, the sunken spheres. Mm. Do we go umbilical or do we go the rest? rake? Oh, so you, oh, yes. Sorry, I see what you mean now. The yeah. rakes are the one, things that bring them in. And yes, they are right. powered by the umbilical brothers. <laughs> okay, that's canon. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll allow it. And they're, um, they're sort of they're like yelling at each other like an old married couple, but they've both got both of their feet on one pedal, and the other one's got their foot on yeah. the other pedal. Excellent. So the rake. Um, Mo says that every good prison involves a laundry room, which I think is true. Uh -huh. Oh, so your laundry is. You do a thing and it gets sent out, so you can hide in your laundry basket. So mm. do we need a thing of like what? What gets sent out to be refreshed? I know we've kind of wanted to be like as self-contained as possible, but, well, but think, do you need? I like think our dragon eggs are the way out, right? Okay. Mm. So like, I think our dragon eggs through the pneumatic tube. If you wanted to do that, mm -hmm. and let's say a dragon egg for a sea dragon yep. is like just wide enough for a person. Yeah, you could yeah easy for sure. That makes sense. How? But you got to kill the. Like baby let's, dragon. Let's, let's let's say the tube is that wide. That yeah. That it's not impossible. It's enough to squish a person. Yeah. yeah. Like to be a squish. So why haven't more people been like, that's our way out? Like, what's what's the little wrinkle there? Well, because a, a mama sea dragon guards the dragon egg. Oh, so it actually, like, it's mm. not like, it's not even like they take the eggs and they put them in the tube. The tube is like in the dragon, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like Maybe. Well, the oh. eggs build up until, like, they're just kind of pushing themselves. But it's in... But if you want to get to the tube, you've got to go to the dragon, is what yeah. we're saying. Yeah, you got to go there's not like a There's not, like, a hatchery where they, like, kind of carry the eggs and you no. can just make friends with the hatchery and the guy. dragon is bald. And now, so... Uh-huh. When you get like... shaved on the way in, you mm -hmm. know this is going to the dragon. Well, can it be something more like... You that? know this is going to the dragon. <laughs> What about this? Is what the shaver you says the, to you. <laughs> you know the big blobby brain from Starship Troopers? No. You yeah. don't know Starship Troopers? Nah. Yeah, I'm with you. Because different brain? Can you give me a different brain so I can uh, picture it? Uh, Krang, but bigger. Krang, but bigger, thank you. <laughs> that, that was it. Hang on, how are eggs fertilised? By boys. Fucking. Yeah, they're going to do the sex. But, but hang on, hang on. Underwater, the boy fish just like jizzes around them. That's true. And Wait, are you being for, but you're being for real? They yeah. Swim back and forth. Yeah. Do you think that there's this hard solid egg in a chicken and then the boy chicken comes and fucks it and the cum gets in the hard egg? Because that's not it. That. No, that's what I was wondering. That's no, that's not so it. So does, does the egg yeah. come out and then the rooster jerks off onto no, it? No, it's, well, it's yeah. not like a hard egg shell before the cum gets in there. The hard egg shell is the old cum. Oh! 
Now you idiot. Like, anyway, can anybody let's in the chat? To, let's leave this for Crunk to draw. <laughs> I think I'm right. I think that they like they're not like fertilizing an egg, like a white egg. They're like fertilize, okay. like how a woman's egg is fertilized. Okay, so when a, a dragon, a when a when a sea dragon, yeah, yep. Out an egg. Yeah. yeah. Has the sex already happened? Wait, yes. why does it need to be fertilized? Can't it just be like. It doesn't, but I'm just wondering for like this for this story, like what is the process? Because presumably they're exporting dragons. Oh. So you'd want to. Why, why, why? Why not? Well, why not is making, it just a big hen house? Not making dragon omelets. Well, well but maybe, maybe. maybe the yolk of a dragon egg is uh, some sort of amazing substance which oh, does okay. something. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's a resource. Which would make probably the mama dragon a prisoner of sorts as well, potentially. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. You rattle that stuff at it and Hermione's you gotta like, you got to make friends with stuff. a dragon. Yep. But I feel like that's all secret. That's a bit secret. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we've got, we've got the... Oh, they think they're just mining stuff mm. yeah. to be sent up. But it actually turns out that the prisoners are mining dragon food. Mm. Oh, to keep, keep the dragon... Sedate. Sedate. Yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah. this is the dragon's home. Sleepy dragon. Food. They built a prison next to the dragon's home. But I think they've maybe, like, sealed it in. You know, normally the dragon would come and go, but the dragon is a prisoner okay. on its own. Oh, uh, I, okay. I think they fed the dragon, that they made the dragon a glutton, and now the dragon can't move. Yeah, too fat. Yeah. Okay, let's talk characters now, okay. because we're getting close to the end of story. Um, characters at this prison, I think we... I, I think I think I liked the idea that it's like these kind of this kind of maybe slightly inbred in a Habsburgian sense, um, yeah. Not in a like deliverance sense. So like very like. I don't know who Habsburg is. Just Habsburg. Is. I don't know who Habsburg is. I know Deliverance. Um, Habsburg, uh, the Habsburg Empire. Austro-Hungarian. Somebody's been on the show before, or? Sorry. Mean, yeah, Sorry. We have a ha Habsburg Sorry. on the show. Yeah. We had Charles the Fourth, but I mean. Mm. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's it's in a royal sense. It's not in like a bulldogs. Yeah. Yeah. So I like the idea that there's like a family that does this. They've they you live like here, that. They live here. They die you here. You like that idea? Well, I, don't, I don't get a little stiffy about it. That's no, what you're so, saying. Uh, that's all you fucking said. I'm only going on your words, mate. <sighs> So, you get a big stiffy over them being a family and being inbred in the prison. They don't. They don't. This is, not, is this what you put up with every day, Dave? Can't you know it is. Warden. It's usually you. Yeah, that's true. So, I like the idea there's a this warden. So, we need a warden. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, I reckon let's just like for the ease of time, like he's like a kind of like Tim Pot dictator. He's like the Earl of like he's like obsessed with his titles. Yeah. Okay. Um, like and that. he's like this is his realm and mm -hmm. like he makes everybody bow and okay, like. Okay. And what's his like? What is the, it, what is the power that he holds over them? Is it just like the the amount of guards or is he? Yeah, I think he's got like a militia which is part of the three families. Okay. I also wonder if like you can. Just trying to work out how this works. Maybe you can like work off a sentence to become part of the militia. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. it's like, like a totally like self-contained ecosystem. Yeah, guards, like guards are gonna die. So you're yeah, all, so you're both like you're against the guards. We have to suck up to the guards because eventually you're gonna become the guards. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's how you go. Like like a Roman legionnaire style thing. Work off your time and you. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's like we all we're never gonna get to the surface, but how you behave down here. Yeah. You might get a better life. You might get a better yeah. life. Like yeah. getting to work at the work at the library. Yeah, yeah. but it's like even more than that. It's like you might end up being in court. <gasps> Let's do like a court thing. Like mm. a kangaroo court. No, like a like a like a French court. You it's know what I mean? As funny as that. Oh, like with like courtiers kangaroo. and. Things yeah, like, like that. there's this yeah, whole yeah. fucking thing. It's a bit mad because they've been down there for so long. Oh, but if like right. you are the favour of the Duke, then you can like yeah, And I that's think gross. I think this Yeah, warden... but it's like not yeah. it's not yeah. meant to be good. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, like, it's good. Gross yeah. is good if it's you're a good gross, I think. They're yeah. all yeah. mental. So yeah. so the warden has like taken the red pill or blue pill, whatever the bad pill is, mm. where he's like, Oh, this is a, a great and honourable role that I have. And well, maybe I, and maybe I think he's like the ninth. Yeah, right. But, he, but there's so an things are getting pretty funny, Gene Paul wise. Right, but there's an underling beneath him who's like, "Oh, this is bullshit anyway. I don't want to be here either." Yeah. Like the guards who don't want to be there. <laughs> well, I think everybody after a time, and this is the point of the yeah. prison. Like it breaks you to a point where you're like, "Oh, I guess like the best thing I can do is like rise among this." Yeah, right. In it within the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like maybe that's why nobody ever considers breaking out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of the Poos prison. Stanford prison experiment. <laughs> yes. What if once you land there, you're 
you happen to be a guard or a prisoner. <sighs> and then there's like a lottery every year. And you might turn into a guard or a prisoner for the next year. See, this is kind of interesting because... Is that too much in a, stuff? In it's a prison... Good. No, no, I like I this because it. in right. a prison, right? Let's think about this. I remember Anya once told me that when she was studying criminal law, she was like, there are like four things that prisons can do and they're all basically at odds, um, which I found fascinating. But anyway, point is, um, if it's a prison where you literally cannot escape and you literally cannot... That does sound like you guys had a great combo. It yeah. was really good. I'll fill yeah. you in sometime. <laughs> no, hey guys, it was like... It was my like... name's Ben and once... I talked to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> we'll That's... be right back. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, if it's a prison where you cannot leave, where there's nobody coming and going, mm. and where basically, like... It's impenetrable to leave because it's ocean all around you. What does a guard do? I'm saying that because it, to yeah. me it makes sense that you could be like, you're a prison, you're a guard, it doesn't really matter. So I guess it's that the work that you have to do is, yeah. is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And you gain something from being a guard and it's like, it is worth me sticking around here for this year being a guard. Yeah. Because it's... I don't know, maybe you get to eat the dragon's yolk a little bit? Well, maybe it's a mm. severance thing. Maybe you have these, like, really sad perks. Mm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I think that, I mean... Um, yeah. I really like yeah. the copy that um, Nathan M. U. just wrote. Oh, read the Warden of the Lord Grey. The Warden of the Lord... The Warden Lord Grey Spot of Nad Nadir's Vault, Master of the Caged One, Seeker of the Wythen Spawn, Lord of All He Surveys. Yeah, that sort of business. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan, Nathan Mew. Yeah. Good work. Um, I like that too. Um, well, I, I, so just to follow down with that prison experiment, <laughs> so there's a few ways you can go. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Just this <laughs> roasting that's going on. Yeah, look, I tend to just sort of, um, my I eyes go soft when that's happening. I am a wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like uh, Silver Thylacine, be a good guard, gets better prison quarters next year. Okay, so like we've got we to gotta move quick here. Okay. I think the, I think the, um, uh, the distinction between prisoner and guard, there's prisoners, there's guards, and then there's the court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're, if there are certain circumstances where you can be plucked to there, it's almost like going to Ethereum. Mm -hmm. No, Elysium. Yep. <laughs> um, it's almost like going to Elysium. It's possible. It's actually one of the things that keeps people in check because they know that, like, if they're really good, you know, they heard somebody like three years ago went to court and that was a nice life, but maybe they're being turned into I would push, a, a push against that being a literal thing that they can do. Like, if it was a rumour, I would say that makes sense, but I actually don't think that you need much more than I am the guard and I don't want to stop being the guard because these guys have taken a lot of shit from me and if I'm a prisoner, they're going to fuck me up. Yeah, I think it's complicated. I think you're right. Yeah. You know? but, I, but I do like the idea of, like, there is this, like promise that they give to people almost like as a way of keeping people sedate yeah being yeah. and it doesn't have to be real no that I makes think sense there, I think there is a court and I think sometimes do people people do disappear but they're just mm. like taken up and then their dicks are ripped off or something yeah. I don't know it's yeah. Hungry Games uh -huh. yeah and which or whatever Hungry Games was based on that was much smarter <laughs> but he's like you know why we have a winner because we give them hope blah 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 yeah, yeah. jam tomorrow mm. jam um, tomorrow because also like there's, that, that's a big thing where like why is it, why isn't <laughs> there an uprising why isn't there like the classic dragon friends created a, an uprising like why is there's so many more of them um, and I think so many more of what what do you mean so many more prisoners so many more guards why isn't there an uprising against the court can I Look, it's like we've created a problem for ourselves by mm -hmm. not letting the court or the guards be able to get in and out. Yeah, but I like it. I like it too, but it's like, is how much how much like heavy lifting do you have to do to justify your own weight? Well, that's what we'll find out on the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've I think we've I think we've built a I think you, look you could be right. I think we've built a pretty robust sandpit to play, and we might have to do a little bit of story stuff while we're doing. Um, play stuff, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to take a very quick break for wheeze and poos. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, everybody who's been chatting. You've had some really, really, really great ideas. And Crunk, Love it. I mean, pornos aside, I mean, even, <laughs> with, even with the pornos, it's been incredible. Um, Crunk, can you like maybe what in the break like go through all your drawings and kind of as like a thing that everybody can enjoy? Um, all right, we'll be back in like five minutes, call it? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to one hour. Quickly.
This is where episode the... one ends.